My aim of this channel was always to show you what university life can be like so that you can make an informed choice. Over the next couple of videos I will be speaking about food, accommodation, partying, extracurriculums and sports and so on, and most importantly how Cambridge fits in it all. Starting with my favorite. The issue of cooking never really bothered me. At home I would have grandma and at boarding house we had cafeteria. So when I came to Cambridge for an interview and I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is gonna be paradise. For two years before university, I lived in a boarding house and food there was absolute garbage. Plus, living with other 80 girls doesn't really help you with your body image. Everyone skipped meals and exercised extensively. I developed an eating disorder without even realizing it, but apart from losing my kilograms, I was losing my hair and my nails and skin became terrible. At university, I wanted to start over and take good care of my body and exercise moderately. But that was too good to be true. In my first year we had a gyp room, which was all the cooking facilities I had. A kettle, a microwave, a toaster, a sink and a mini fridge. The perks of working in a library, getting the vouchers and eating meals like that. Although like maybe only once a week. Main dish, side, fruit, cheese, salads, smoothie, honey. It really differs by college, some have it every day, which makes it quite cheap, five to eight pounds. You wear a gown, you're being served by waiters, and just overall it's a fancy meal. King's College is of course special in every way. Our formal halls are around 18, 19 pounds for members, and it gets up to 32 for guests. That's quite expensive given that people not only pre-drink, but also pre-eat because portion size is tiny, and you also don't wear gowns. My next craze was being a vegetarian, which was purely for I cannot cook meat properly reasons. I went to a couple of vegan meetups, they're very nice, you really see that it is possible to cook nice meals when being a vegetarian or vegan, and not buying meat at university is pretty easy because of how cheap vegan and vegetarian meals are. But personally I couldn't do it because my iron levels were getting quite low, which made my constant fatigue even worse. That also meant I couldn't donate blood anymore, which made me quite sad, so I decided I don't want to take supplements, so I'm still periodically eating meat, but much less than some rower would do. I gotta be honest with you, the problem, at least for Komskis, is not the lack, but abundance of food. We have companies come and give us talks and all the time they bring pizza and desserts. That can definitely lead to overeating because you realize, oh, I'm just gonna have that for lunch and there is no portion control there. Sometimes we would have talks by researchers in the computer lab and we get sandwiches and desserts. Sometimes there would be even special dinners for girls in computer science and companies would pay for us to go to very fancy restaurants. In terms of supermarkets, there is Sainsbury's, which is just right in the middle of the city, so it's the main choice for all the hungry students. That means it's a monopoly and the prices are much higher. There is also Lidl, which is reachable by bike, nice and cheap. Not a great variety, but you know, sometimes you just don't care. There are Asda and Tesco, those are superstores and they're absolutely huge and allocated further away from the center. Some people just order food online and Asda delivers it in the events. There are also international events and when those happen, usually it's nice to bring dishes from national cuisines. I tried out some stuff that I've never seen before and it's honestly amazing. One of the things that all internationals miss is of course our own food because, you know, British food is just... Oh, no comments. But we have a whole road consisting of purely Asian shops. Anyone who is planning to bring lots of instant noodles, you don't have to. This and last year I'm in another hostel where we actually have proper cooking facilities and kitchens. It's kind of tiny and even though there are four hobs, only two people really can fit in there. They finally renovated it after a couple of years, so now it's a pleasure to be cooking there. Don't be that person who just makes a mess and everything just smells. My daily food usually looks something like this. There's an oatmeal with bananas, dried apricot, raisins, chocolate powder, whatever I feel like. Then during the day I definitely try to eat fruit, so an apple and a pear is my choice. I also love water, honestly, it's like the best thing ever. Cambridge water is rubbish! If you could see the amount of like lime scale there is everywhere, 
it just makes me very frustrated and even though I don't trust the tap water here I came to terms that it might be kind of clean but I still use uh, Russian filters to de-clean it. The good thing about companies is they also bring water bottles so I've accumulated a whole bunch and I usually take them to lectures and by the end of the day I have them empty so it's just it's just amazing like no fizzy drinks just water. I don't always make it to lunch in cafeteria because I have lectures quite late so I usually end up having some sort of a sandwich or just snacking on my favorite carrots and hummus. Honestly I actually like having very light lunch because otherwise I'm just falling into this food coma and I'm unable to function throughout the day. Dinner also usually depends because if I go to the gym I don't want to eat right before it or right after it so I still try to go right at the end of dinner time because then they realize how much food they have left and they give much bigger portions. And then of course I randomly wake up during the night for some midnight snack, which usually happen to be nuts or maybe crackers with soft cheese. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, it's not representative of what people eat and I know people are trying various things at university and cooking is probably one of the things you really have to learn how to do to become a proper adult. All you have to know is that you won't starve here. Food is expensive, but it's always possible to find something. Plus some societies have some sort of things that they do with free food in there. And if you've never showed up, you can still come and get something. And now if you excuse me, I'm about to go make some buckwheat, Russian stuff. Bye-bye. Oh, I got this from Student Switch Off for basically posting a selfie. The difficult part is to choose a flavor. Can make an informed oh my god I speak English. Are in level levels. Levels!